good morning welcome back to my channel this is Eugene from Kenya so there is this message that I want to get to you today um, we as Africans we don't take you for granted that's one thing I need you to understand also we recognized that you've been fighting with us still time immemorial um, looking to our forefathers like uh, Du Bois you know Marcus Gavi they fought for us during all those times so Africa in general the African Americans have always had our back since time in the past you could also listen to this video what this man says and he says the truth the truth is that African Americans have got our back because people come and leave the Chinese have come they only come to exploit us okay there might be it might be seen as there are opportunities that they're giving us but nope in return there is something that we are giving them generally in Kenya um, we owe them trillions of debts that our generations of young children will pay um, the United States we've been talking about uh, things to do with taking our resources taking our natural resources you know the Russia and any other country that has ever come to Kenya they always have something that they take from us but you our brothers and sisters from the United States that is African Americans you've always got our back you've always been with us so uh, there are some things that I want to say which I highly recognize that and I did my research and tried to look back in the things that you've done for us and we don't take it for granted we as Africans don't take it for granted mean person I recognize that and I don't take it for granted now ways in which African Americans have got our back we as Africans so the first thing is uh, that I did my research was the cultural revival so African Americans have embraced and celebrated their African roots through various cultural expression such as music uh, dance arts and fashion for example <laughs> African rhythms and dance styles have influenced genres like jazz, blues, and hip hop. Today, um, I'm a piano of South Africa. If you go to the United States, it's everywhere. Some music are also, are also topping in the charts. So, how you have promoted us, how you have promoted our music as a brand, how you have reflected our values in music, in our dance styles, we really appreciate that. We don't take that for granted. We don't take that for granted. And the only way we can repay you by that is by encouraging you to now come and settle home. Another thing is uh, another thing is African religion. In African religion, uh, some African Americans have explored and adapted spiritual practices such as um, Yoruba or Vodo which are rooted in African traditions. Um, I might not know much about the Vodou thing, but I see in movies, especially the African-American movies, and I see there's something like, uh, there's this woman that they go to, and they act like Sia, you know, things to do with love and spells. So it's something that its roots came from Africa, but you guys are still embracing it. This is because um, there's this transfer of information from our great forefathers and when you went to the United States you went with it and we are glad that some of African Americans still embrace this which is so 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 important to us which is so 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 important to us um, also I'll talk about heritage and tourism many African Americans have traveled to Africa to explore their ancestral lands reconnecting with their roots and participate in cultural exchange programs so as i've been showing you through a couple of videos african americans have been coming to africa most of them settling in ghana kenya you know nigeria and some parts of africa we do appreciate that we don't take you for granted you taking a step coming to reconnect with your roots that's one thing that's greatest that has ever happened in your life and i'm sure you don't regret it because those people who come to africa they give you the information and i'm sure that you don't regret about that so this is something that happens and we really really appreciate you 
coming back to your home and experiencing your roots because you are embracing your roots and we do appreciate that we don't take that for granted as africans um also uh on my research that i did we have pan african movements so african americans have been involved in pan african movements that seek to foster unity and solidarity among prominent figures such as Marcus Garvey and Du Bois these um these this these prominent leaders were so instrumental in transforming Africa because they are our allies who visioned everything and they tried to give us the solution and they tried to fight for Africans and they tried stopping things like slave trade African can't be africa without calling the names of these prominent instrumental leaders such as marcus gavi du bois and other prominent leaders you know them africa really appreciates you and it's in our history we can't take you for granted for that okay so the only thing that we want to repay you is telling you to come back home um also uh education awareness you see african american scholars educators and activists have played crucial roles in raising awareness about african history and culture both within the african american community and in the broader society uh, you see people like marcus gavi they were elites and they try to tell africans that do not be afraid of the oppressors do not be afraid of the oppressors just because they have some things that we don't have but with time we see these things are changing we believe that we are equal we were all made equally and we have an equal potential this is to remove the stereotype that was there to africans that a given type of people they were greater than a given type of people if you understand what i'm saying so these elites they came that's why we appreciate you our elites we e du bois um marcus gavi these people they advised africans they uh, they talked to african leaders and talked to them and told them you know you should do this and movements came and african some african countries got independent through these people so that's a number one thing that makes us don't take you for granted we do appreciate you we do appreciate you uh another thing is um supporting african courses african american have supported various african courses such as humanitarian efforts education initiative and economic development projects to strengthen ties between the african african diaspora and the continent yeah we have built ties through education we have exchange programs that helps africans to be educated to eradicate things like poverty and we really really appreciate this I wrote uh there there is one of my viewers um is called American descendant Igbo Kings. He left a comment on my channel and I felt that it will be important if I shared with you because I asked him if I could share this information with you. He really gave me an important a so powerful message through my comment section and I want to read it to you before I end. But just before I read it kindly if you're my new subscriber kindly if you're my new viewer kindly subscribe to my channel it really means a lot to me it's a small growing channel but your subscription will be highly appreciated i do value you the only thing you can repay me from bringing you this is just subscription kindly subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it. and all due respect i give my fans from the united states a shout out and big up to all my african uh, fans ghana congo nigeria you know kenya tanzania and all other parts of africa the people are viewing this channel also i do appreciate your efforts your putting so that we can learn together so guys i will read for you that message that he wrote me so this is what he said all african americans it is time for us to go home africa the Lakota Native American tribe have a saying, if you take a wolf and lock her in a cage, she will do everything in her power to escape. But if 
eat our pups, they will never try to escape. The female wolf knows that the real freedom is, but a puppies only knows the illusion of freedom. And I've grown content with the cage. It's all they have known. While the door remains open, they will fight to stay in its invisible protection. When our ancestors were first brought to America, they did everything they could do to return home or hold on to African culture because they knew what true black freedom meant. But after each generation, we have become content with this cage and we will put up great resistance to any talk of learning it. In the story of Roots, the Gambian Kunta Kite was nearly whipped to death because he refused to give up his African name and take on an African American name. Today, it is quite the opposite. Many of us will rather be beaten than give up American slave name. And it is sadly we continue to pass this down. Our ancestors' slave owner. Uh, this is a comment from uh, one of my subscribers uh, that is a uh, american descendant igbo kings man this message is so powerful this message is so powerful and uh, i thought that it would be imperative if everyone had this message man this is so great big up bro big up bro um we really appreciate such kind of information and i thought that it would be good if i shared with my people so guys thank you for taking your time watching this video and i appreciate you and i salute you thank you for watching this video and bye i love you